What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the amazing attackers national team selection. There's a couple of good players in this as well. I think obviously we've had a load of versions of Lewandowski. Uh, Felix is an interesting one as well as Grealish. So there are a couple of nice players in here, but there's also a couple of guys I think you could be unlucky enough to get um, because there are better players there like the likes of Pulisic, Nabri, and Sarabia. They're, you know, they're average uh, wingers, I think, depending on how you play. Yes, you can turn them into pretty good players, but I don't think that they're going to be worth, um, you know, actually spinning for. If these were available on nominating contract, it would be kind of different, but you only get three chances at this. Um, so you do want to probably obviously get the free one as well. So you get four, you 50% of getting whichever player that you really want. Um, but yeah, we are going to be starting with Sarabia, Sarabia, Sarabia. Uh, who is again one of the one of the the picks of it uh, in terms of he has unwavering form and he's got some really good player skills. You can see there that he's got outside curler, true passing, first time shot, dipping shot, long range shooting, double touch, really nice stats. He's also got early crosser and that unwavering form with all the ninety team play style proficiency as well. He is down as a creative playmaker, so he's kind of similar um, in you know how he actually plays. Uh, to I would say somebody like Messi that's not going to be the best like you know blistering pace uh, it's going to be more kind of like you know possession based players uh, I would say that he's probably either a hit or a miss player for you if you do spin him is he worth putting all the training points up well he's only got 23 levels to go um, and this is how I trained him up look lads I did a video a couple of weeks ago people are still obsessed with getting the players to be the max overall it's it's just you're just it just shows, man, it just shows that you need to learn how to, like, level up players properly and effectively within the system and the formation and the tactics that you're playing. I've come up against guys that have a team with five or six players that are 100 overall. Like, you've got 100 rated Mbappe, 100 rated Messi, 100 rated Cruyff, and, like, I've wiped the floor with them because my players are trained up exactly how I need them to fit into the squad that I'm fitting into. Because I keep saying it, I'm not the best player in the world. But I've got to Division 1 twice. I've got to Division 1 nearly t three times. I was just like, I got a rage quit or a disconnect, whatever it was, and didn't count in my favor. Um, and I'm not nowhere near a Division 1. I shouldn't be a Division 1 player by right because it's just that I study the game a lot, I research a lot, and I train the players effectively. Forget about the overall being the max level. It doesn't really matter. The overall max level does not matter. It matters what player you have in that position. But Sarabia here, as well as Pulisic, they're both very similar players. Obviously, Pulisic is is kind of very similar as well. Uh, he's got a little bit more pace about him um, uh, in terms of how you're going to play with him. Um, and he also has super subs. So Pulisic being a super sub is an interesting one, but he only has standard form. So when you are training these for Pulisic, I would go with dribbling and pace. Um, and then obviously have the super sub coming on to use that dribbling and pace. And for Pablo from PSG, I would be using him as like kind of a Messi-esque player. So obviously he's not going to be as good as Messi. He's not going to be as good as some of the Messi alternatives. If you want to check them out, check them out on my channel. Uh, there are a lot of them there that you could use uh, as alternatives to Messi. But yeah, they're both kind of like similar in how you train them up. And you've also got... Um, You've also got, who else do, Who else was it there? Nabry. So Nabry is kind of a mix uh, between Pulisic and one of, um, you know, he's got good passing, but he's he's more about pace as well. 90 acceleration, 88 balance, and 90 dribbling is very, very good. He goes to a 93. He's got standard form as well. So that's kind of three of the wingers sorted out from the bottom there. Um, you have also got Grealish, who's a winger and son, who we'll get to in a second. But just to focus on this guy for a second here, uh, we have El Nesri, right? This guy lit up um, the World Cup for Morocco. He was absolutely insane. He's a big, big unit, lads, of a player. He's well able to get up into the air and score headers, score you know goals all around the pitch. When I'm training him up, right, there's a couple of ways that you could train him. You will be tempted to just obviously boost up his shooting to bring up his uh, his like shooting and finishing and that. But I would definitely just focus on his heading, man. That's kind of where I'd go with it. 96 jump and 92 header. But that also brings up his physical contact. And with the dexterity and the lower body strength. Now, you could go this as well. This is another option. You could go that way just to bring his acceleration up a little bit. If you wanted to, you could go that way. 
um, just to bring his acceleration up a tiny little bit still have that at that his lower body strength there and you get another point into that and then you could put one onto the dribbling to bring it all up to 70 for tight possession 71 and 72 for dribbling um you've got 90 header 88 offensive awareness i i, I keep saying this if you do not have uh you know 87 plus on speed or acceleration as a center forward you need to have offensive awareness above probably 90 so the fact that this guy doesn't get up to that he's not going to be like a meta center forward i do think he's probably not worth getting unless you're going to be using the aerial ability but i think that 88 is enough if you want to boost up that to 90 that is probably a better version of him you still got the 88 header and 92 jump and you've got 90 awareness with 84 acceleration. So another interesting player, um, I'll just show you here. So that's kind of the version that I would use him uh, there. He's got some nice player skills. He has only got standard form as well, which is a bit of a pity. But he's not the worst player that you could have if you want to bring him in off the bench, even though he's not got super sub. So yeah, first time shot penalty specialist, heading double touch. He's got some unique stats for a big player. Uh, moving on, that's the bottom line. We have Son. Son is obviously one of the best players in the game, lads. He's definitely one of my favorite players to use on my Xbox profile, but for some reason, I cannot use him on my PS5. I don't know why. I've tried so many times. I've tried various different versions of him, and he just never seems to do it for me. I mean, his stats are absolutely incredible. This version of him especially, he's got unwavering form, double touch, long-range shooting, curler, acrobatic finishing first time shot track pack gamesmanship he's got the works man he's got everything that you could possibly want in a striker and the stats that you were able to boost him up to then as well seven into shooting six into lower body strength and 10 into dexterity which brings you to 90 speed 93 acceleration 91 offensive awareness and 90 finishing now if you're struggling with him right and if you've played with his standard car before and you're struggling to score goals in him because i usually do you could uh, potentially turn him into a very very good winger you're still going to have that pace you're still going to have all the player skills you're still going to have everything else going for him um, with the finishing uh, 83 finishing by default which is very very high for a winger but you're also going to be able to use that speed uh, and ball control and dribbling to get him as a proper proper winger for you we've also got Lewandowski he's probably the pick of him but there's been so many versions of Lewandowski lads I don't even need to go through them you know what you're getting with Lewandowski 92 offensive awareness 75 speed 72 acceleration kick and power is very good finishing and header 90 each you know what you're getting he does exactly what he says on the tin I I just don't really rate Lewandowski too high because he doesn't have apart from his aerial ability he doesn't have enough pace for me obviously his offensive awareness is quite good but you can get better players I mean Son has better stats than him but I think that Benzema would probably be a good option as well if you haven't got Lewandowski and you want to try him and you do get him he definitely is worth having a look at but yeah the two picks for me of this bunch are probably uh Joe Felix and Grealish they're probably the two picks for me so Joe Felix is a very interesting one right he's got standard form he's got a load of player skills he kind of reminds me of Messi he doesn't have blister and pace but he's got excellent dribbling really good passing and excellent player skills his player skills can overlook a lot of issues that he, you have with his stats here right you've got double touch Marseille turn sombrero cut behind and turn soul control heel trick he's got everything that you could possibly want to dribble in tight possession one touch pass true passing and then also on top of that you've got trickster amazing run and long ranger so he's got everything that you could possibly want as an amf or an ss and then moving over when we do actually boost up his stats 90 dribbling 91 tight possession 82 offensive awareness 89 ball control his passing is still a little bit low and his speed and acceleration but he plays like an absolute beast man i've come up against him a few times and he's really you know i've really struggled against him uh compared to even players like messi and stuff and then last but not least we do have jack Grealish himself uh he's he's a very good card 88 acceleration don't worry too much about the speed because we are going to be using him in short bursts very good player skills as you see there dribbling ball control type possession excellent defensive awareness excellent for a winger balance excellent acceleration excellent he is perfect apart from obviously there are a lot of players like this in the game and the fact that he only has a standard form as well is a bit of a pity so yeah this is a bit of a mixed bag lads i would say that the the nominating contracts are probably better all around but yeah let me know what you guys think if you are going to spin or skip on this but that is it for another review this time of the attackers the amazing attackers so don't forget to subscribe lads and peace